pretty small, but it's pretty exciting. No, uh, this wing foiling, wind wing, whatever you want to call it, is growing. smaller guys in really good condition seem to be wanting as small a board as possible. For the humans among us, I think uh, for the wind winging, the board is key and really important that you get the right volume under your, under your weight and obviously the right width as well. That's speaking from common sense, not speaking from a huge amount of experience. I've had a couple of goes, and um, even though I can surf boil pretty well, I'd like to think I can anyway, um, wind winging, there's a lot of like, what am I doing, figuring out, so the more width and the more volume under the board, I think the more um, transition I suppose to, to feel that feeling like we're progressing. Um, so, with this to me being 5'4, 83 litres, is a little bit more geared up to the people that really got to grips with it. So it'd be interesting to see this anyway. So it's a really small uh, Sonova foil board. Um, I'll do the rest of the unpacking and uh, I'll get back to you. So, it's all unpacked. This thing is insane. Look at that. Tiny little thing. Nice semi ledged handle. Super chamfered bottom. Uh, really interesting tail block, as you can see here. Um, so, the there's obviously rocker in the tail of the board, but the foil mount is actually very square, and then you've got a super aggressive chamfer on the tail there. Um, so, official pins. So we've got 5'4", 27 and a half, 83.5 litres. So even though the litreage, you might think, oh, that's a bit too low, 27 and a half is still, is still that accessible, um, accessible width. Um, interesting to know the weight, so I'll put it on the whale scale now. I mean, this is a, it's just an ordinary scale that you use in your bathroom, so this board is showing at 6.2 kilograms. There we go. 6.2 kilograms, Sonova 5.4 mini foil board. 